Right, I'm not sure how much of this you're going to hear because it's so windy, it's unbelievable and I didn't bring my mic with me because I'm on the phone, so uh, croissants just unbelievable these, they're, they're just growing like crazy growing like crazy bronze uh, Gillian Hoek spray all Louise I've got those, plenty of those. Um, Ellen, oh Ellen, not Lillian, there, yeah, Ellen Hoek. So that's for my reference to be honest. And then I've got a Rue spray. My oh, dear, I can't remember. I'd, I obviously uh, coded these last year because I was too lazy to put the full name. The little bald dahlias are in flower, albeit that one's facing the other way. There's plenty of uh, buds on there. So the uh, dahlias, fruit, grape, raspberry, all doing fine. The slugs just chopped. Some flowers were doing fantastic. Look at look at these, how big these are. It's incredible. They just, the slugs just chop it off at the, at the stem. There's a full, like, what, 10 inches above that. So it comes up four inches, chews it in half and then doesn't do nothing. And look, every look, little rat. You know, it's just such a waste. I found about four sunflowers like that today when I came this morning. Plenty of buds again on the dahlias. I've got the sun behind me so it may be difficult to view. The uh, pumpkin is doing really well. Some flowers that haven't been touched are doing really well. The dahlias that haven't been touched as well, they're doing okay. Plenty of uh, fruit on the raspberries, as always. Thin the rhubarb out again. Shallots splitting nicely, doing really well. Doing really well. Red and green cut and come again, doing well. Radish are up. Spring onion are doing well. We got some uh, lettuce over the back there. Got some cods down here and some chard, bright lights or rhubarb chard. One of the two. I've done a mixture. All year round, Collie netted these today because the. Uh, the Pigeons. If it's not the slugs, it's the wood pigeons. So I've netted this today. Hopefully, we'll not have any, uh, we'll not have no problems uh, with them again because they decimated the cabbage. But lucky enough, in a week they've really pulled back. So I'm really pleased about that. The weight of the fruit is just pulling the uh, gooseberries down. I staked a few, but typical the ones that you don't stake. They hang on the floor, but there you go, but they're alright, they're nice and clean in there. Looking really good. Uh, runners, these are dwarf, so they're doing okay. They've got plenty of room there. The runners here, where well, they've gone mad. The, uh, the dwarf beans in front, they're really picking up now, you can see each week doing really well but these they're doing just about a metre now the, the runner beans look at this hanging on for dear life in this wind so yeah they're doing really well sweet peas doing well that's sunflower now that's a metre already that's that American giant it says three to five metres uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's doing well. The, what we got now? I always get these mixed up. Of course, I didn't put the label in. Let's have a look at the ones over here. But well, that's calendula. They're doing really well. They're really doing well. Sweet peas are doing fabulous. Zinnia, that's it. They're, do, they're doing really good now. They've really got a hold 
really growing away and the sweet peas absolutely wonderful today. I was really pleased when these came out. It was such a joy to come and small and find them out. Fantastic and a variety as well. I thought that was just uh, one colour but they're, they're mixed which is fantastic. Uh, the uh, brook beans are doing well. Really picked up now on their way considering there was nothing of them to be honest when I put these in. The, the frost had had them, the heat had had them, the slugs had had them. Just incredible. I think most of these are just side shoots that came out, the, the actual main plant. I think uh, most of them were, uh, were eaten. The chard's doing really well. Oh beautiful, lovely red vein. I've got red and yellow in here. I think this one is traffic lights actually. So they're doing well. Stuck a couple of nose in. And, uh, let's open a little. Let's see these. Oh yes. Our yins are doing well, gave them a bit of a water, so it's so hot today. They're doing okay. Lone celery in a pot, doing alright. Lone collie in a pot, I thought I'd pot him up. Alapino, a couple that I had left over, I thought I'd just shove them and see how they do outdoors. I normally do them in the greenhouse, as you know. Uh, spring onions, some lettuce. And spring onions again. The big onions there. Some turian, or no, they're the stir on. The some turian are in that bed. So these are stir on. Had a, had a few uh, strawberries this morning on this little alpine, tiny little things. There's a little hoverfly there pollinating away. These are. Uh, Golden Gourmet, they're doing well as well, the shallots. All these uh, toms, fantastic. Apart from being a, getting a little bit battered by the wind today, they're actually doing really well. So they've had a good soaking and they're really looking good. Quite a few of them have got trusses on already. So quite pleased about that. It'll soon be time to give them a good feed. The little uh, the runner pot is doing okay. They're away now. They're climbing down like crazy. Uh, Counterclockwise. There we go. Goodness me. That one's up a metre and a half. Uh, everything's doing okay. Sunflowers down this end. They're doing fantastic. Fantastic seeing your, uh, there's a few squashes tucked away in there and a pumpkin, a couple of pumpkins in this uh, fruit patch that can trail around it, do as it pleases. But uh, it's nice when a fruit bed's in leaf. Fuchsia coming on well. The uh, gladioli. It's doing really well, and the fuchsias, uh, the chrysanthemums on this bed, they're all away now, doing really well. Uh, some garlic under there drying out under the glass. So I did take them out a little bit early because there was a bit of rust on the leaf, but uh, we'll see, they look alright. Here we go, the lupins. It's doing all right. They're getting washed around in the wind as well a little bit. Beautiful. Look at that looping. I really didn't expect this to flower this year. Oh my god, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's almost pinky that one. I've come over here, we've got a mauve. Look at that. Beautiful flower. So, yep, 
courgettes and squashes. Currants are getting a bit battered again with the wind, but there's an absolute ton of currants on these. Probably all get blown off after today. I mean, look at, look at this. Absolutely mad. Look. So much. It's the only fruit I didn't net. But we'll see. Uh, tomatoes outside here are doing well. Um, they're doing okay. So all the way along there, just the tomatoes. So these ones are doing well. Obviously, as you can see, these are not in the pot, these are outside. This was the second sowing of peas. Getting a little bit of pea weevil nibbling the, uh, the edges. Nothing I can do about that. Just got to hope they stop. They are growing, but they are taking a bit of a hammer in the second lot. The first lot did, but they, uh, they managed to get away with it. And uh, they're really uh, away now, the first lot. Quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah, they're really doing well. Really doing well. Carrots. Uh, I think it was scarlet, scarlet horn. These carrots. So I had a good soak today and a and a weed. And so they're looking all right. Got a rocket next door. That's taken off now. That's doing really well. Next door to that, you got cylindrical beetroot. I put a couple of the thinnings in there. Let's see how that goes. Golden beetroot is doing well. They've come up. They're all right. I put a couple of extra where the uh, some of the cos had been eaten. I put a couple more in. They'll pick up by next week. They're coming along though, they're doing alright, these ones. Uh, Munchkin pumpkin is doing okay. Bright lights, charred, it's doing okay in this bed. Doing well. This one here was yaffled this morning. Big dirty snail. Oh yeah, soon got rid of him. And the uh, the market moor over the back, they're doing well. This one on the left isn't doing so well but the other three are doing very well they're doing very very well uh, these cos lettuce they're doing well as also little gem I think actually they are and these uh, these couple of gherkin they're doing fantastic herb bed I won't say too much about that it just goes crazy doesn't it I had to put a fence to keep the uh, potatoes, the, the foliage was just getting absolutely battered. I don't know if it's actually damaged them and will it affect the crop? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, hopefully they they pick up because when you're pushing these leaves, they're so they're so brittle. These type of foliage that you know the flowers are out on uh, a couple of them here. They was well open this morning. Uh, so they was doing well. Uh, we come round. This is all what's uh, all spare. There's a bit of chard down there. Plenty of toms. Barrage. Give that another couple of weeks and I'll, I'll put that out. Some uh, onions sown from seed. Um, I really needed to pot them on. Haven't got time today. Story of my life. Tomatoes. I've got so many tomatoes still. I've gave, I don't know, over a hundred away. I think I overdone it. These are dwarf beans here. On the left again. Oh look, tomatoes. And uh, some runners, Scarlet Emperor, I think. No, they're prize winner actually. But I think they're snowstorm. I just made them wrong. Yeah. Um, cauliflower over the back. It's all spare. And some, uh, some corn. Actually, didn't don't think I showed the corn. So we got corn here. Well, it's just trebled in size since I put it in. Actually, gone mad. Them beans are doing okay. I put another four, eight, twelve, six, another twenty corn in today. Uh, and to be honest, they're not that far behind from the ones I put in three weeks ago. 
so it's quite crazy. So carrots, carrots are doing okay. They're doing really well. The strawberries, there was a load on here midweek, ready for ripening off. I come this morning and they'd all gone, the whole the whole lot. So obviously between the birds I suppose and the squirrels. So it's all now netted. I should have netted it last week, I didn't, my fault. That would teach me a lesson. I don't know if anyone else uh, has problems like that. I don't seem to see others having that issue. The uh, cucumber here, baby, there's absolutely loads of uh, cukes on it. And they look like they've been pollinated um, because they are growing. There's a ton of uh, flowers now on the on the chilies. They're just waiting to open up. Some of them are opened up. Some have been pollinated. There's some peppers growing on the left. These are these are all the the hot chilies here, on the right hand side, and these are sweet peppers on the left hand side. I mean, look at look at him. I mean. Last week, uh, unbelievable. He was nowhere near that last week. These are absolutely these hose lock things are just fantastic. Really is. Just trickles the water enough in these uh, grow bags with this seaweed extract, and the chilies absolutely love it. Last year they went absolutely mad in here. Um, got a few uh, marigolds. What are left? Six. I'm really chuffed with these. So. They're not going anywhere near outside yet because the slugs decimate them. Aubergines, two, four, six, eight. Eight aubergine plants. They're doing all right. They're doing well. Two telegraph. There are flowers. Can't see any cukes. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a, there's a little cuke down the bottom. And there's another cuke on that one. Um, Weave it open, pollinated, I don't know. But uh, the telegraph, yep, yeah, they're doing okay. So they go up there, uh, spin around, and we got uh, two F1 babies. These are little like lunchbox type ones. Oh, a ton of cukes on these! Absolute ton. They're, they're fantastic. There, there. I don't know if that focuses or not, but they're absolutely everywhere. The bees were in here earlier. But I can see, I can see five, six, I can see seven on each of them. And this is what, two foot? These babies, this F1 baby is prolific. It's fantastic. Uh, little Alpine straw, uh, strawberries that I potted up, which are absolutely microscopic last week. They're really taking off. They're really coming along, so I'm really chuffed with that now. Oh, there's another two uh, aubergines. So that's two, four, six, eight. So that's that's ten. So ten aubergines. There we go. Right. I think that's about it. Let's have a look. I think I've finished my cup of tea, and it'll be uh, nearly time to go home. There's a little wasp there drinking some of the water on the uh, on the lettuce. Oh no, it's not. It's a hoverfly. I thought it was a wasp. It's a hoverfly. I know a lot of people don't like wasps, but they are pollinators too. So, you know, please don't kill them. I know uh, you get offended when they're on your fruit, but, you know, they are still pollinators, trust me. All right, okay. Let's uh, see if we can get a nice shot for a, for a thumbnail. Okay, hope everyone has a wonderful bank holiday. Take care, everybody.